Okay, that was that was fun. Okay, good. Sorry. All right. Okay, good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome. My name is Jana Putre. I am the chair of the City of San Diego Commission for Arts and Culture. We're going to do a quick roll call to confirm commissioner attendance. When I call your name, please unmute yourself and say present. Commissioner Bossler. Present, thank you, good morning. Thank you. Commissioner Hughes. Present. Thank you. Commissioner Frank. Present. Thank you. Thank you, your attendance has been noted. Also joining us today is city staff, including Executive Director Jonathan Gluss, Chief of Civic Art Strategies, Christine Jones, Project Manager, Bell Reza, and Civic Arts Project Manager, Laura Bullock. Um, before we get into today's agenda, I'm gonna call on Bell Reza uh, to run down some of the guidelines for today's meeting. Bell? Thank you, Commissioner Putre. Good morning, everyone. As you've noticed, we are now using Zoom webinar. This is in an effort to provide greater accessibility. Members of the public may now join the meeting as webinar attendees in order to provide public comment in real time. Committee members, city staff, and authorized presenters are attending the meeting as panelists. The meeting will function for them identically to a typical Zoom meeting. Uh, as a quick refresher, please note the buttons on the control bar at the bottom of the Zoom window, camera icon to activate your video, microphone to mute and unmute. Please remember to stay muted when you're not talking. Keep your chat window at all times. You will be using the chat to signal when you'd like to speak. Um, we do recognize there's a hand raising function. However, we request that you type speak in the chat window for the record. Chair Putre. We'll now move on to unmuting myself. Uh, we'll now move on to non-agenda public comment. The public was invited to submit agenda and non-agenda comment items via a web form accessible through the agenda and the commission's website. Members of the public may also join this meeting as webinar attendees. If members of the public have submitted comments in writing via the web form, staff will read aloud public comment submitted per city public comment protocol. And I will call on Bell to read aloud any non-agenda public comment or to call on any attendees who would like to provide comment. Bell? Thank you. There are no members um, of the public in attendance today, but we did have one written submission um, from Peter Kalivas, um, and I'll go ahead and read that now. Thanks to a partnership with Westfield Mission Valley Mall, who has donated to PKG Dance an entire storefront. We invite staff and the commissioners to our gallery style meet and greet to experience our public art styled installation of our critically acclaimed PKG Dance for film, Deeply Rooted currently looping on 24 hour display in our store's front. Join us Saturday, October 23rd, between six and 9 p.m. for a hosted Bubbles and Bites, meet the artists, enjoy our film on display day and night in our store window located next to the GNC storefront. Deeply Rooted is an artistic collaboration between San Diego Tijuana based dance companies, Junkyard Dance Crew, Grupo de Danza Minerva Tapia and PKG Dance that reflects upon the idea that movement helps us to remain grounded and founded in who we truly are while uniting us well. Deeply Rooted has already been seen by regional, national and international audiences online and in person at the Hong Kong, Los Angeles, St. Petersburg, Russia dance festivals. And that's it. Okay, thank you very much. <clears throat> Alrighty, uh, commission business. First up is an action item for us, um, and that is approving our minutes of our last meeting. I uh, hope everybody had an opportunity to review the minutes from the September 10th meeting. Um, Commissioner Bossler, you have a comment? Oh, I was just prepared to make a motion when you're ready. Hey, that's great. Usually I have to wait. Okay, that's great. Um, so would somebody like to make a motion to accept the minutes? Commissioner Bossler? I move that we accept the minutes as they are for the uh, September 10th committee meeting. Thank you. Commissioner Hughes? I second. Thank you. Alrighty. Uh, do we have any public comment for this item, Bell? No, we do not, and there are no members of the public in attendance. All right, that's great. So um, if there is any discussion, go ahead and please let me know. 
Okay, well, um, then I will take a vote. I'm going to call your name and you will respond out loud with yay, nay, or abstain. And remember, you did not have to have attended the meeting to uh, vote or discuss this one. Uh, let's see, uh, Commissioner Bossler? Yay. Thank you, Commissioner Hughes? Yay. Thank you, Commissioner Frank? Yay. Thank you, and my vote is a yay. All right, next up, uh, I'd like to ask um, Ann Bossler to speak. So I just had a question. So I know, I can't remember if it was this last executive meeting or the meeting prior, we had talked about attendance and commissioners and there was gonna be some sort of a circling back in terms of kind of uh, where we are with making sure that we've got a full, a full team available uh, to do the work at hand. Can somebody, can somebody uh, speak to kind of where we are with that? Yes, I'm, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, I'm happy to jump in and uh, Bell may want to um, add as well. We've um, reached out to the Office of Boards and Commissions on a number of issues. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, uh, asking about updated attendance policies uh, for this new administration. Um, and as uh, you all probably know, a number of commissioners are in um, uh, are expired right now. Their appointments are expired. So we're anticipating um, a full communication from the Office of Boards and Commissions in the next few weeks. Uh, apologies that we couldn't get it to you by this meeting, but it is uh, in the works. Mm -hmm. That's good to know, Jonathan. Thank you. And Anne, thank you for that question. Alrighty. Um, well, speaking of Commissioner Bossler, um, would you like to uh, report out on policy and funding? Yes, absolutely. Thank you. So we did not have a meeting this past uh, month, but we do anticipate having a policy and funding meeting in November. So thank you and stay tuned. All right, thank you. Uh, and uh, public art, uh, Commissioner Meza could not be with us today, but uh, Christine Jones uh, will be reporting on public art. Christine? Thank you, Chair Coutre. Um, So for uh, October meeting, which is actually this afternoon at 1.30, uh, they had to shift their schedule this month. They'll be uh, meeting and receiving a uh, presentation by MR Barnadas, who is um, uh, presenting her final artwork proposal for the Civic Center public art um, mural. So if you have time, please um, join us. Otherwise we'll be um, coming to the commission um, at the meeting in later on um, in October. So that's what they're primarily doing. And they'll also be receiving um, some presentations from some of the park social artists on their preliminary artwork ideas. So that's an ongoing thing every month that they've been receiving some of those. So uh, it should be a good meeting. Thanks, Christine. Um, yeah, I know uh, all of you are very busy, but if um, you can have the public art committee meeting going on one computer, a computer while you're doing something else, they're really enjoyable because we're getting to hear from artists about actual art. And, um, you know, a lot of times we spend talking about money. So uh, it's nice, nice to talk about art and look at some ideas. So thank you. Commissioner Bossler. I was just gonna ask if, um, if that communication in terms of uh, how to connect with that meeting and the, the date and the time as we move forward um, could be distributed. So commissioners that wanna, uh, just like you suggested, participate in the background or at least uh, lend an ear mm -hmm. that would be accessible. That would be terrific. Okay, sounds good. Um, Bill, is that is that something we can um, just automatically include everybody as a, just in case they want to, or? Well, the, the links are already on the website. So if you want to join any meeting, you just can go there and find everything you'll need, the materials um, and the link to the meeting, if you're just joining as audience. Okay. All righty, um, let's see. Uh, the next up is advocacy and outreach. Uh, Tyler, do you have something to report from your committee? Uh, we didn't have a formal meeting this month, but do um, anticipate 
uh, further discussions around, you know, now that budget season has passed, next steps for uh, advocating for Penny for the Arts. Uh, I keep participating in the Claire Rhodes Foundation slash uh, commission uh, annual, or sorry, monthly meeting, um, which are really interesting, larger discussions with the wider community. Yeah. And Jonathan and I keep having really good discussions with the uh, BIPOC leadership of Movement Catalyst San Diego and you know, trying to get them more involved in uh, the wider community of our funded organization. So a lot of one-on-one -on -one advocacy and outreach, but um, I think we're on the right path. Very good, thank you, uh, Commissioner Hughes. <clears throat> okay, um, did we have any uh, public comment on that? Well, let me say something really quick too. Um, just want to let you know, uh, Fritz, we, I think we told you that Fritz and I um, are working to uh, put together some field trips, if you will, uh, for the commissioners, and Bell's giving us a hand with that. Um, and we're hoping to, in October, visit with, um, oh, my mind just went blank, Monarch School at their new Performing and Visual Arts Center in Barrio Logan. In fact, I drove past it the other day. And um, so uh, as soon as we have the date for that, I encourage you to try and do what you can to um, attend because I think it's going to be fun uh, to see these places that we talk about all the time and see them in person together and spending some time together too. Um, so I, I hope that you'll be able to fit it into your schedule whenever it is we get fit into their schedule. Alrighty, uh, next up. So uh, there are no public comments, I assume, for committee reports since there's nobody here. Right, no public comment. Alrighty, now moving on to the action items. And this is approval of the um, agenda for the regular commission meeting, which is upcoming. Um, so uh, does anybody wanna make a motion about this action item? No? Commissioner Bossler? Is there a way to please put the agenda up on the screen so um, that it'll be part of the meeting? Good idea. Sure, we can do that. Here we go. Okay, one second. Okay. Okay. Now, if you want me to. Uh, Commissioner Boss, well, Commissioner Hughes, you had something to say too. You had raised your hand. I was just going to um, motion, but you know what? I think this is um, better that we take a gander. All right. Sounds good. One thing I do not see on here that I would like to add um, that Rebecca was kind enough to make arrangements with um, a gentleman, I cannot recall his name right off the top of my head, uh, Jonathan, uh, to perform for us um, a song at the beginning of the meeting. So, um, Belle, I'm going to ask you to um, add that to this agenda. Unless it's on there somewhere, I'm not seeing it. Uh, no, it's not. I don't, I didn't recall. Um, was I on that email chain? Let me find his name for you in my email. No, that came in a uh, text, I believe, or an email. Not an email, here it is. Evening. Jonathan, uh, but it's, uh, it's spelled wrong, Jonathan. It's T-H-A-N. And uh, his last name is Seligman, S like Sam, E-L-I-G-M-A-N. And he is a local musician, educator, artist, and entrepreneur. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll look up his details and add to that, but okay. okay. So, we'll, so we'll start with the performance. Okay. Now, you, uh, Commissioner Bossler? I was just going to ask if by way of background, if somebody could say a few words about um, that 
a presentation point number two, the educational cultural complex, San Diego City College. What does that entail? I'm, I'm happy to. Um, <clears throat> you may remember um, that the uh, educational cultural complex, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, in uh, Southeast at City College uh, that was built about 40 years ago has been, um, their leadership has been um, developing a new uh, master plan um, that calls for the construction of a new theater building, possibly the home of um, um, a museum facility for the San Diego Museum of African American Art and Culture. Um, and um, substantial renovations to the existing facility. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, they just received a, a sizable donation from the state, which will allow them to move forward in phase one. Uh, so we felt like this was a good time for you all to hear uh, an update on the, the ambitious plans for the campus. I believe that uh, there was a story in the paper about that today. Common Ground Theater is, uh, I believe they're going to be, or is their resident uh, group there? It, it, the plan is that they become the resident theater mm. after renovations. Mm. Is the idea that the commission would have a role in that or more of a communication vehicle? It's, it, it's a communication vehicle. Does that answer your question, Anne? Okay. <laughs> speak, speak loud. Um, okay, so um, with the change we made, uh, adding Jonathan Seligman performance to the um, agenda, proposed agenda, would somebody like to make a motion to approve the agenda as it is, Commissioner Bossler? Um, I'm happy to I'm happy to make that motion to approve the agenda as it is. Only question I have is regarding this commissioner engagement ad hoc. Mm. We keep bringing this up every meeting and there's nothing to share. So um, just curious if we want to do something with that or if it should rotate off or um, I'm happy to defer to you all on how you want to handle that. Well, I'm hoping that um we will have some communication from our DEI task force about the progress of our equity statement. So that that's what I would like to hear about uh, uh, there. I know they've um, been a little bit challenged to meet, but also been exchanging uh, texts back in, not, I don't mean texts on the phone, I, I mean uh, documents uh, and editing back and forth. So I believe we'll have a report in that regard. Yeah, and I, I agree the, with you, Anne, by the way. And that task force is meeting on the 14th next week, so we should have a report back to you. All right, very good. Commissioner Hughes? With, uh, with that in mind, and that the commissioner engagement ad hoc is really changing its direction over to one of focus on DEI, should we just change the subcommittee name? Um, so it's not this topic on which we really haven't had a lot of forward momentum. There hasn't been a lot of uh, discussion about you know, commissioner engagement for the past while, but mm -hmm. we are making forward progress on DEI. So why don't we just shift the name over? Could do, although um, the field trip uh, ideas that we are having would be a little bit more part of that. Fritz is part of that committee too. So um, maybe uh, let's let it be and talk about it Friday with everybody. That sound good? All right. So do we have a second for this? Uh, I second. Oh, you did. Okay. Very good. Um, so uh, we will go ahead and take a vote. I will call your name. You will say uh, out loud, yay, nay, or abstain. Commissioner Bossler? Yay. Thank you. Commissioner Hughes? Yay. Thank you. Commissioner Frank? Unmute yourself. 
Vernon. Commissioner Frank, are you there? Ooh, what happens now? Bill, could you uh, could you text him again, please? Yep. Okay, I got it. Got it. Um, yeah. You, thank you, Commissioner Frank, and my vote is a yay. Thanks, everybody. Okay, I'm going to turn it over to Executive Director Jonathan Gless to share his staff reports with us. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you for your time. Um, <clears throat> Just a couple notes uh, about your discussion around committee structure. Um, this is the time of year uh, in October and November. This is just as a reminder that um, the chair looks at committee structure, composition, et cetera. Um, so, <clears throat> excuse me, um, with uh, committee appointments coming back to you all in December uh, for uh, a January start. Um, so that this is exactly the time when Janet will have these discussions about committee structure with you all. Uh, Janet, you and I haven't met on this. So um, let's make a point of um, speaking about that quickly. Yes, Tyler. I only, my only question is, um, do we need to defer until the mayor's uh, boards and commission team gets back to us about if all of us are staying? Yeah. <laughs> um, and Janet, with your permission, let's just, um, uh, I have an email into that office again today. So as soon as I get uh, information um, I can get back to you. Uh, I do know that one the um, the appointment from Councilmember Elo Rivera was to have gone to City Council in the last week or so, and that didn't uh, that didn't make it to Council agenda, which leads me to believe that there's a lot of activity happening right now. So I'll circle back with them and get that information back to you all as quickly as possible. Okay. The other thing that I wanted to, two other things as far as process structure, et cetera. Um, shortly after our last meeting, um, the governor's office did um, lift the temporary ban on, um, or excuse me, the, the temporary um, language for Brown Act. Um, allowing cities to start to meet in person again at the uh, committee, commission, and council level. We are not um, at the decision of our chief operating officer and the mayor. We are not encouraging um, boards and commissions to meet in person yet. Um, so just respectfully telling you, legally you can meet. Um, staff and leadership is encouraging you not to yet. That's still the, the kind of the messaging for staff going back to city to um, offices. We're still in a mode of um, going into the office on a need basis on an on need basis. So this team will be working remotely for the next few months, um, in part due to continued issues around uh, vaccinations, um, and in part due to the fact that um, the city is taking this opportunity to rethink um, the way that we inhabit our office spaces. Um, so, we have the good fortune of taking uh, a bit of time to think about this in a more creative way. Um, yes, Janet? I, I think that's a wonderful idea. I have uh, felt that we uh, have done well meeting this way, even though I miss seeing everybody um, in person. It was nice to see everybody in person the other night. Um, 
I still think, you know, we're able to get our work done like this. And perhaps it's even easier for some people uh, to just drop in on the computer rather than having to drive downtown. So um, I'm OK with that. Yeah, <laughs> staff loves it. Um. <laughs> Well, and that building too, like, where would you even go? Um, well, uh, cab is fully open. I mean, the buildings are fully open. So there are, there are teams that need to be working on the premises, either for access to systems uh, or because they're frontline. Mm. So the buildings are all open. Um, so we actually could be meeting on... Um, 12th floor um, in those the meeting rooms, um, if we so choose. It, again, it's just not being encouraged. Um, I don't think we need it, so I'm okay with doing it like this. I mean, it's you know more convenient, comfortable. So, and thank you, Vernon, for figuring out a way to get in uh, on your phone. The other thing that I, I, I wanted just to brief you on is programmatic. Um, Christine had to step away, so um, I'll report out on uh, the funding program. <clears throat> um, we are going full force on our outreach for FY23. Um, uh, application season, uh, we've done about four workshops uh, thus far, we have a number of workshops that are being hosted over the next two weeks by council offices. Uh, all offices but one have committed to hosting a meeting, and the one that did was only because of uh, uh, staff capacity. Just a very busy time right now. Um, Leticia Gomez Franco, as you know, has is working with us on those. She's doing a great job um, working alongside uh, Bell Reza, who's uh, driving it all forward. I also want to give a shout out to all the team who really have stepped in um, doing during the, the short staff period of time, um, keeping the ever exciting contract process moving forward. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then in addition to that, um, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, SD practice is in the final phases of, um, uh, we're in the final phases of identifying sites at C facilities in every council district. We anticipate uh, installation to begin in the new year. With one exception, we did start to install in the mayor's offices, the public spaces in the mayor's office looks beautiful. We thought that would be a, a very exciting way to launch installation of uh, the initiative. Uh, and, and then finally, go ahead. I'm sorry Jen. to interrupt Jonathan, but um, since we can't go there and see it, uh, are there photos of it, the mayor's office? There are, and actually you can because we only install in public spaces. So this is literally in the lobby outside of the mayor's secured offices. Mm -hmm. um, um, but Laura can also send you images. Okay. Uh, it looks really fabulous. Thank you. Yeah, happy to do that. Um, Thank you everybody for attending. Those of you who came to the Rady Show um, last week to uh, celebrate our um, final phase of our efforts to um, attract world design capital here. Um, it was a very, very, very successful site visit. Um, really impressive. Um, 18, uh, two days of 18 events on our side of the border alone, let alone Tijuana. Um, both mayors have really demonstrated their investment and enthusiasm. So stay tuned. We'll know by the end of uh, October. And then the final thing is we are still continuing our workshops um, with 
uh, catalyst in partnership with Claire Rose Foundation. We have three more of those. This month is um, um, our own Delug Smith is going to be on the panel, um, uh, which is focused on creative youth development. And then we have two more that will be focused on uh, community development, economic development, um, and urban design. Um, delighted to say that uh, before the announcement of the new um, leadership at the National Endowment for the Arts, we had already invited Maria Rosario Jackson. And uh, so she'll be joining us at the December meeting. Um, if you haven't heard, uh, Maria is uh, then um, president has announced that he intends to appoint Maria uh, as the chairman of the NEA. Um, Maria is a longtime uh, Southern Californian. She's an Angelino, but deep relations uh, here in uh, San Diego as well as um, Phoenix. Uh, so she is a PhD in urban planning. So particularly interested in um, the role of arts and culture in building great cities. So couldn't be happier. And I believe that's it. Happy to answer any questions. Anybody? Well, that is all very exciting. And um, I feel confident that we will win that world design capital thing. Um, John was interested to know if we got a trophy or something for that. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, thanks everybody for coming this morning. And uh, for those of you, uh, is anybody here on public art? I guess Laura probably. Uh, I'll see you later. And uh, everybody else will see you next Friday for the commission meeting. Again, Vernon, thanks for making it. And uh, you guys all have a great weekend. This all meeting's right. adjourned. Okay, all right. Bye. Thank you, everybody. Uh, have a good weekend. Uh, just a question. Uh, I have to get it turned over. I have to get it turned over. So I can sit in my chair. That up. Mr. Hughes, you're breaking up. Want to try one more time? Pretty rhythmic. I like it though. Anything you're saying. No policy and funding today. No. No. Okay, have a good day, guys. Are you good, Tyler? Okay, have a good weekend. I don't know how to leave. <laughs> I was so